Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. Today we're going to work on the tune Real Montreal. Uh, it's a great tune in the key of G. I'll play through it once and then break it down into sections for you. Um, try to get it by ear, but if you have troubles, there is tabs and standard notation over at mandolessons.com uh, along with chords to play along with the melody. Um, but again, trying to learn things by ear is really good practice. Um, really kind of ups, ups the musicianship. Uh, so give this a try first. Uh, if you find this helpful, uh, feel free to send me a little tip over at mandolessons.com. It's greatly appreciated. I run the website without ads, um, and at this point it's being totally funded by people like you who are either sending a little uh, donation for individual lessons or just uh, doing a small donation on a monthly schedule through Patreon, and uh, people who do that get uh, some incentives. Um, so you can go check that out over at mandolessons.com. But... For now, I will play the melody and then break it down. Key of G. One, two, three, four. Sorry about the ending there. That's a little goofy thing that I have written down, but I wasn't actually intending to do that. Um, sort of at the end, I'll play the, that last little bit and show you what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, it's a goofy little way to get back to the... Uh, top of the A part that I'll go over at the end. All right, so here we go. The first phrase, again, key of G, starts in the third fret of the E string. Sounds like this. So it's just kind of walking down the scale. One more time. Next phrase. A little kind of arpeggiated line. Five, two, oh, five, two, again. And then, so let's put those two together. A couple little pickups. Oops, sorry. Let's try that. Where that fourth fret on the D string is the down, the down beat. Again. Similar sort of little arpeggio. So let's put those little bits together. Sounds like this. couple notes. So that little descending line. And then that first arpeggio. Put all those together. Sounds like this. more notes back to the beginning Five, oh, two, and then it's gonna go etc so uh, let's play up to there and then we're gonna 
repeat back through the A section. One, two, three, here we go. So we kind of played A and then another half of an A, ended on that fourth fret. And right here, there's this little sec separate ending, and that's going to complete the A part for us. And it's just a big scale. So it just walks right up the G scale. Again. One more. Great. So I'll play the A part through twice. That's all of it. Um, and let's see if we can get a handle on it here. One, two, three, four. Alright, here comes the B part. First phrase of the B part starts in the open A string. And so actually, the first part here is in G, and the second part is really in the key of D. So we kind of change keys here. So the first phrase sounds like this. Starts in the open A string. little arpeggio line again uh, so let's do that again one more That's the first phrase. Next phrase starts with a couple of pickups. So those first two notes, that, that second fifth fret, it's gonna go five, seven, five. And that second five is the downbeat that we're aiming for here. Again. One more. Next phrase is the same as the first half, uh, as the first phrase in the B part. And then the last phrase starts the same. And then, so. Let's get to there one more time. It's going four, five in the A string. Um, and then it has this little line. Again. 
again. One more. So that whole second half sounds like this. Then we're gonna go five, two, oh. And then O is the top of the B part again on the A string, etc. So I'll play the B part. Uh, I'll play the B part through twice, and the second time it's just gonna go. Well, actually, that might not be true. Hang on. Yep, so that's what it's going to do. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, this is how the second uh, B part ends. And then I'll show you that little thing I did at the beginning. So, top of the B part. Open A string. One, two, three, four. Alright, so that's the whole B part, uh, except for this funny little tag that brings us back to the top of the A. Um, so we've gone... So this little chromatic line, so it's five, open, one, two, three, and that three is the top of the A. So, five, oh, one, two, three. And uh, using your first finger for both that open uh, open string, first finger on the first fret, first finger on the second fret, slide up, and then second finger on the G uh, gets you in great position just to go back at the top of the A. So play the tune through uh, all the way A A B B about that tempo. One, two, three, four. Funny tag. Hey. Etc. So that's the whole tune. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Again, that's kind of a notier tune than some of the other ones I've done. So if you need the tablature or standard notation, available over at mandolessons.com. I'll play it through one more time, adding in some double stops and picking up the tempo a little bit. Uh, again, thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, a uh, little tip is always appreciated, but if it's not in the cards, no problem, because I'm really dedicated to having free uh, instructional material available to anyone who wants it. So, free is the important part. Again, last uh, one more time through, a little more speed, a couple double stops. One, two, three. when you do want to end it. Uh, something like that, just ending on that fifth fret. It's a good way to end. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.